This parable about many are called, few are chosen, about the banquet where all sorts of people get invited and refuse the invitation until finally the master of the house says, you know, I really need people uh, in my house. I am a king. I love to give people good things. I'll bring in the poor and the lame. I'll bring in anyone. You know, it, it, it's often us that don't accept the generosity of God. And there are lots of reasons for it. I think one of the most pressing reasons is that there are a lot of people who don't think they deserve it. And the parable was really about uh, people who thought they deserved everything. And, and so uh, they didn't have to listen to God's invitation um, on God's time. They would accept it when they felt they needed it or they wanted it. But really what the parable is asking of us is to think through, do we really believe that there's a generous God out there? Uh, do we really believe that God is willing to give us what we need? And it's needy people that accept gift because they really do need what's in front of them. And, and so they accept the gift and they learn about graciousness after they get into the banquet hall. Maybe that's what we need to do too, is, is to realize that it's not about deserving this kind of generosity. It's about accepting this kind of generosity. It's not about deserving this kind of love. It's about accepting this kind of love and then finding out what it's like. That can be pretty frightening. You to open yourself totally up to God and say, I'm not even sure what I need from you. And because of my experience, I've learned kind of not to trust people who want to give me something for nothing. But your word tells me that that's who you are. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all people. And you and I are in that all. It's not because we deserve it, it's because God is abundant. God's love is abundant. God promises in John's Gospel, life in abundance. Not when we're good, not if we're good, not if every wound in us is healed. No, it's just how God is. John tells us, God is love. To put it a kind of odd way, God can't help God's self. And the way we find out what that love can do for us is to not wait until we think we're ready, but come before God and said, I don't understand this. I don't understand myself, but I will listen to your word. I will learn to be fed. I will learn to be loved by you. And when I start to do that, I'll realize that, lo and behold, I am deserving of love before I do anything at all. That's God's abundance. When we respond that way, that's when we can confront problems like climate change, like racism, because we realize that the love of God is about giving all of us this creation, giving all of us all this diversity, giving all of us all this culture as a richness for ourselves. And we don't deserve it, but somehow we choose to live in our little consumerist life, or for me, our little white life, and not experience the wonder of what God has made for us. This time uh, in the university, we're concentrating on those two things, climate change and racism. We've come to them because we've been confronted by them. But we don't have to wait for that. No one has to wait for that. Open yourself to what God is giving in this good green earth and in these beautiful 
beautiful brothers and sisters that God has given you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.